Sponsored by Sega. I'm gonna ignore that sanctuary. Oh, we got a new narrative event. Excellent. Come over here. So a new civic has been unlocked for army composition. So I can't enact it now because we don't have a civic point. But we can choose whether our army is formed with conscripts. Conscripted warriors will save us the cost of raising soldiers from the crib. Or we can have professional soldiers forged from the youngest age. Professional warriors will give us stronger armies. So with conscripts, you get a massive discount to unit production. With professional soldiers, they get plus one strength. Now we can't enact this now. But I, I'm kind of leaning like towards professional army. I think that's probably what we want to do. The question then becomes, do we choose the army composition first or do we choose our legitimacy first when we get our civic point? And then which one of those do we choose? Right? Like there's a lot of decisions to be made right away. Oh. Territory is dominated by you with 100% cultural influence over it. Select it with... Yeah, click. Hold on. I'm curious about this one. This district here is 64% us. Territory is influencing uh, the territory which is currently selected and the value of its outpost is... Output is one culture. Influence for use culture. So this is the influence produced by us. So we're producing three and three over here. We're only... We're producing one over here, and it's converting to Empire Zero, which is us, Player Zero. So, we have an outpost here, but it's not locked in completely, which is interesting. Ah, we have met! We have met another Empire. A proposal? The Hittites by Vlad. Now, Vlad is cruel. Population is a disposable resource. Their population, Greetings, their productivity is what matters Simon. most. Do you too believe this actually sounds very no compatible with my plague style? Uh, he's a militarist, right favors so. the use of military power to reach their goals. I would never. Impulsive, no matter the cost, deeds follow words. Is this me? Is this an older me? I mean, you know, I'm, I've only got one avatar in the game. Hold on, where's my camera? But, you know, a little this, grow out the beard a little bit. A little homeless, it's an older homeless me. Um, now, he doesn't want to set up a trade deal. I mean, I guess I'll accept for now. There's no reason not to. We accept, and we should celebrate the agreement. Like moonlight on water. Surprise war! Yeah, let me, let me get back to you there, Vlad. Alright, I'm gonna split, um, I'm gonna split these guys. I send you, oh, sorry. Wrong click. Send you here. Follow me. Uh -huh. Understood. Will do. And that way. Mm hmm. Who won't expect that? Togas are comfortable. Yeah, I'd, I'd totally wear a toga. Absolutely. So, this. Outpost. Okay, a couple of questions here. So the old outpost is now... It's still got a building over here, but it's part of the primary city. This outpost, which is not linked to a city, I can build an artisan's quarters. Specialist craftsmen harvest nature's most precious materials, selling the best finds for handsome prices when a market on hand nearby. Extracts any luxury resource from the deposits built on. So I could go and work the saffron now. Which would presumably give me access to it as a resource. Yes? Maybe? Let's try. Yes. Nubians! What is this? Oh, some lead. Oh. Oh, uh, Durajri just claimed uh, the Lucy Open Dev as a drop. Nice! The Durajri was, is going to be able to start playing. We are going to attack. Or not attack. It's got to be Ransack. Uh-uh. 
ransack just for some bonus money. Now we're sitting on quite a lot of gold. We can use gold to um, to rush something. Oh, you're not building anything. We would have been prompted about that in just a second, anyway. Uh, fortress garrison. Food is still plentiful, which is good. We've got some extra military units, which is good too. So yeah, do you have to leave defensive units in here to defend your cities? And if so, should we? What we might want to do is Artisan's Quarters actually get... Let's get this Saffron hooked up over here. Let's do that first. Minimap world screen. Well, you can zoom out and you get this great iconic view. Really, really great for quickly seeing stuff. Cities versus outposts. Now, we don't have tons left to the stream. We have about 40 minutes left. I would love to go and declare war before we do that. So, I think what we're going to do, tell you what, with, um, yes. I'm going to set the scouts here to auto explore. Oh! Oh! Hold on! Oh. What can Brown do I for you? Proposal. They can become the Olmex. This is where I greet you, impress upon you the wonder of my Cruel people, -taking and tell you my ambitions, no? Maybe? He does get plus one combat strength in his units. I think we have to go and smack the Olmecs because they're next door to us. Hey, what? Let's just refuse. Once again, you show how inadequate you are. Hmm. And? Surprise work. Yeah, let's hold off on this for a second. Badge updates. A traitor. While you have this badge, your opponents lose more war desire when you ransack or bombard their buildings based on the level of the badge. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, hmm. I mean, maybe I still want my scouts scouting. That's probably not a terrible idea, actually. Let's um, let's split you off. Let's auto explore. And auto explore with you guys. It's We've got military it. units being built here. McKean is going to continue to build military units. Meanwhile, oh, I put the outpost, but I never started the city over here, huh? 46 turns. Can I feed extra production to make it happen faster? Because I'd like this to become a city. I wonder if there's a way to increase that. Oh, yeah, maybe the population the outpost will grow. Okay, here's... Hang on, let me try something. You over here. I'm going to send you to the city. I think, I think, if I remember from the previous, um... The previous open dev, I feel like... Oh, we got a culture star. We can, in fact, retire our units into our cities to boost population. Guys, it's time to create a religion! Pick the basis of your people's beliefs. Polytheism, which gives us 10 faith. Okay, they both give us 10 faith. Uh, polytheism gives us less influence on holy sites, but more faith. Where shamanism gives us more just influence on holy sites. Choose the force. <laughs> oh, can buy it with money to rush it. Oh, that's a good point. Shamanism, Quilatinism. All right, we're gonna be shamanists. That sounds like fun. And there you go. We got a religion screen now. Religion. So Mycenaean shamanism. <clears throat> what do we call a religion, you guys? Gamerism, Sproutism, Belgianism. I mean, the developers are in France, so you know what we should probably do is acknowledge that France is fantastic capital, of course, of Brussels. Brusselsism. Brussels, of course, the capital of France. It is known. You know, for the French developers. Shout out to them. Oh, tenets. David Tennant? Brusselsism. You are the religious leader. We have no followers yet. A shoe gluttony. 
that does not that is not compatible with someone who's got a uh, whiskey and chocolate fund. I don't think we'll run that. Abstain from intoxicants. No. Uh, seek wisdom, wisdom, maybe. Tithe the wealthy. Sure. Smite unbelievers. I like that one. All right. How do we um? How do we accrue? So, we need followers. Need has zero of the forty followers it needs to unlock new tenants. Okay. The count of your religion's followers can be increased by producing faith in order to convert territories attached to cities. Produce faith by building holy sites and other districts. Okay. That sounds like fun. Oh, then we get the religious map mode, too. Ah, uh ha, ha. Uh, oh, we're losing influence on this uh, terrain over here. Probably because they have a bigger city closer by. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Right. I turned off your auto explorer. We're going to send you over here, and also here... Oh yeah, I can buy it up for 132 gold. I've got tons of gold! Bam! We've got a new city. Excellent. Okay. And you did get that administrator assigned. Okay, we were correctly reading this UI, you guys. Those were spare administrators. Now we have zero spare administrators, which is fine. We can still add more territory to the city. The city needs an administrator to be able to add territory to it, but we've got one. So we could build an outpost, say, here or here or something like that and attach it to the city. I don't think we have to rush to do that. Shared product projects. Circular rings. The circular formation speak of cycles and rebirth. It is here that the people can venerate all the spirits of nature. So this gives us a bunch of faith and stability. Um, cultural wonders, national products, holy sites. Shared products like districts require placement on the world map. Is it shared just because it's unique? You can only have the one per empire. Is that what they mean? It's shared by your whole empire? Or do you actually like, build it in a shared mode? Oh my god, you can switch this to a list mode, too. That's going to be nice later on when I actually know what everything is. But now I like the, the big pictures. Hmm. Well, what I want to do is I want to get this copper rocking and rolling. So that we have access to that for potential units later on. So I'm going to start with that. It'll be okay for, for production as well. I think more cities can build the same one. Okay, can contribute to it. That's actually really cool. So I want to keep building uh, military units over here. That's that's basically all we're going to do. I'm going to get another one of my proms and another one. Oh, we've got a uh, narrative event. Thank you very much. And another one of the archers. So we're going to get a four unit hit squad here, two melee, two range. Seems fairly well balanced. And we're going to see if we can't go after San Lorenzo before the stream ends. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to try our best. I love this, by the way. So this was in the, the previous open dev. We saw this as well. I don't remember if I had all the art and everything at the time. I love that we choose what our calendar is going to be based on. The invention of the calendar heralded a glorious day in the Empire's history. It was the first time we understood what a day was. <clears throat> now with two major cities and numerous farming affairs needing to be harmonized across the land, it is time to standardize this calendar. Traders must have an easy means of synchronizing their activities. By what means do you wish to track the days? Solar. Uh, the learned assure you that this is the that this calendar will better stand the passing of the seasons. It looks a little more science-y based. Or lunar. The waxing and waning of the moons is something familiar and comforting to people. I think this is slightly more spiritual based. Everyone wants some lunar? Pretty heavily leaning towards lunar, so we'll go ahead and do that. Keeping in mind that it's going to drift this. There you go. See? We've drifted this balance over here. Um, this ideology. Do it, I wonder if... I guess it's just a faith versus science kind of ideology. So it's drifted slightly more into the faith side. So we're not getting quite as much science output, but we are getting more influence. Uh, whiskey and chocolate. I think we've got a couple whiskey and chocolates over here, haven't we? Loon call. Oh, thank you very much, Loon call. Double. Yes, I missed one of these earlier. I'm sorry. I was just, but it did remind me that it was in there. Just finished final, so I thought I'd share the joy. That's amazing. Part of me has always thought, you know, I wouldn't mind returning to, to university at some point. Um, because it's fun it's fun to study and to learn. I'd love to learn more about physics, for example. It would be very cool. And then I remember, like, oh, man. Actually, studying and doing exams doesn't stress me out too much. It's like it's like the projects and, and doing papers and things like that. That's, that's the stressy part. I don't know if I could do that again. Man, oh, man. We've discovered ridding. Knowledge is power. Francis Bacon. So we've unlocked the House of Scribs. Scribes the uh, food market, a market a quarter, which actually a bunch of other buildings uh, benefit from adjacency over there. So that's a whole thing, too. So you see the market quarter generates money for adjacent farmers. So you're going to really gonna, you're gonna set up this sort of grid of adjacency bonuses and craziness. And we can enact a new law, which is great. World need accomplished. Oh! Were we the first people to discover writing? Oh, that's cool! Okay. So that gave us more fame. There's a fame score over here. 
Um, curiosity collected, new knowledge over there. That's lovely. So, I think, yeah, we've got a civic point. I propose we choose our professional soldiers now. I mean, I would like to choose this legitimacy over here for our law basis, but we're hoping to do a little bit of warfare. So I'm going to go and flick on professional soldiers. Bam. We've discovered Chemic Sands. Yeah, we only discover the best fonts. Uh, I'll grab fishing. And save our money for maybe military unit dumps. How are we looking over here? How's our fame? We're number one! Not by much, but we are number one in fame right now, which is good. We've almost got our star from the military units. We only have to kill one more unit over there, which is good. Yeah, we got two stars overall right now. We're about to get our third. And actually, we're about to get a fourth over here with our science because our science rate's actually being phenomenal. We did place a really good um, science building, so that's going to be part of it. And yeah, you keep moving over there. Do not engage the mammoth. Osmosis event. Your civilization benefits from its proximity to others. And curiosities are our scouts picking up uh, curiosities over here. They are awfully close. And, uh, and these guys are as well. Bah? Oh, did we pop warriors from this site? And we can upgrade these to our unique unit. Probably has to be done within our borders. Well, that sounds perfect. Let's move in this direction and we'll upgrade you and uh, get ready to go to town on Brown. I like the sort of like simplified, iconic, almost paper map. You get the topographical sort of uh, lines over here. I do like that zoom out feature a lot because it would be too noisy if it, it kept the uh, the full map, right? Okay, we got about half an hour left. I want to go to war first. I thought, you know, maybe it was a system um, when you're Neolithic. I thought there was a way to remerge. Maybe there's not. We might still want to just keep this one around here for defensive purposes. Turn the music up higher? Sure. Um, here. Let me know if that comes out to be too loud in the end. Alright, you just stay on sentry over here. There's our error score. Nice. More curiosities collected. Excellent. So agrarian stars. So having population will give us stars there. Aesthetic stars. Oh, for reaching influence. So banking influence gets us these. Oh, so we hit 300 was probably one of them. 600 there. We're actually nearly on the next era. We might be able to sow that with the game of prophecy. With the empire thriving, a new game hailing from a new game from a foreign land that guiles the population. Everywhere you go, the distinct bo game board and pieces catch your eye. Everyone's playing Monopoly. No, they're playing the um, they're playing the uh, the Royal Game of Ur or whatever. I have on my Quill 18 Creates channel, which I know needs some love. I know. Uh, we actually go through and make this game in Unity. Um, insisting on a public demonstration, you play the game under the under instruction in your court palace or palace court. But the event has a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divination as well as entertainment. Gasps could be heard from the game's prophecy. As the game's prophecy became clear, you are fated to lose everything. What will you do? Um, let the people gossip. The prophecy will soon be proved false. Defiant. So in McKean, we get defiance. We'd lose some stability. We could heed this, which would make us lose science. Or we can just say silence. Spend some money and avoid this. Let's go ahead and just silence this very quickly so we don't lose anything and we can continue to build forward. Let me just grab horsemanship because it's fairly cheap. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's all bad. See, this is what you get from playing board games. Don't play board games. It's bad for you. Um, hello. Excellent. I think those spawn because we've been through this area before. So I guess curiosities keep reappearing. So your scouts are going to be you know, doing legitimate work for kind of ever. Now, this is going to enter territory that is part of our outpost, not a city. And I was kind of curious. Aha! I was curious to know if we could upgrade in that or if we actually have to be in the city radius itself. We have learned another thing. 
Sins of the Father. The birth of writing has permitted word of your great deeds to be recorded and disseminated among your people, but has also allowed a person's debts to be tallied. In the past, a person's debt died with them. Now they are inherited by their offspring. However, in the new city of Nosos, the political leadership wishes to strike these debts from the record for anyone who makes the city their home. What do you say? So we can accept that anyone who moves to Nosos loses all their debts. They're wiped out. It'll cost us 100, but we'll get two free pop. Soundtrack's too loud? Okay, we'll bring it down again. Um, we could deny and become prosperous in Nosos and get a bunch of money. So five money per turn for 10 turns, 50 gold. Or we could restrict it. We wouldn't, it wouldn't cost us anything. We get plus one pop. Plus one pop for free or plus two pop. So basically getting an extra pop for 100. I think population is actually kind of insane and it's definitely worthwhile. We're going to spend the money. We're going to do that. We're going to bring down the sound and the volume a little bit because it might be a scooch on the loud side. But it is, it is a beautiful soundtrack here. I'll, I'll leave it on 70 or 80 instead of 70, which is, was at uh, the start. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, pay 100 gold for one pop without question. I mean, in most strategy games that I've played, that would basically be it. I mean, the balance is going to be different in every game, but our income is actually pretty good. 24 per turn. So it's four turns worth of income to get a free pop. Yeah. We should actually take a look at our cities and make sure the production is okay, but I'm hoping to go a little speedy. A new wonder can be claimed. From those distinguished monuments, 40 centuries look down upon you. What? Unclaimed wonder. You need influence, claim a wonder. So you spend influence, and I guess you claim the right to be able to build it? So the Nubians have already claimed the Pyramid of Giza. They may not have built it. I don't know if you, you probably still have to build it. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon gives us a ton of stability, a ton of fame. I bet you they all give fame. Or maybe not. No, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all giving 100 fame. So, and, okay, and they, they give the stability as well. So, the special effect is extracts any luxury resource from the deposit it's built on. Must be placed on a luxury resource deposit. Is, it, is that different than building an artisan's? district? I'm assuming it must. Stonehenge gives us food per co-religionist states. So presumably that's other people that follow my religion? It does give us a crap ton of faith. And actually a ton of stability. And our capital gets percentage food on the capital empires following the same religion. Yeah, so if we go around converting people to our religion, Stonehenge becomes very, very, very potent. Temple of Artemis. Health regeneration on units. It's just units everywhere, and your units ignore movement penalties from forests. I mean, and it gives us the faith as well. It's the same as Artisan, but it saves a tile having to build Artisan. Okay. I want the Temple of Artemis for worry things. So we're going to claim it for 250. I'm betting we have to then start building it in the city. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let me get back to that in a second. We have our new regiment over here. We're going to move it up this way. Um, well, I'm not going to declare war yet. We will declare war, but give me a second. Um, yeah, let's just research irrigation. We'll just research whatever's fastest right now. Osmosis events. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm going a little fast here. Um, so I'm not going to build any more units out of McKean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start building Temple of Artemis. So, I don't know if we really care exactly where it's being built. Maybe this tile, because if it eats the production, which I think it is, this is not a particularly productive tile. Actually, this one's neither. Maybe I'll build it over here. Oh, I forgot this, this unit is just sleeping. We need to move them. There we go. And be ready to go. I forgot they were just joining an army that was on static mode. So right now our army size maximum is four. We can't unlock extra sight the slots though. Which is kind of nice. Masonry. So pottery, wor pottery workshop can be built giving us more influence. Stoneworks gives us more industry. Watchtower. Detection range. That does sound pretty useful. Combat strength in the district. So good for defense. 